welcome back to Brassic Classics. Um, I'm here in the workshop. It's the first morning I'm working on the Land Rover Series 1. Um, thanks to everyone that liked the video, the first one in the series, and uh, to all the new subscribers, thanks very much. Um, okay, so here's the workshop, which you've seen in the last episode. Um, I've got tea and coffee making facilities now, really essential. Um, I've still got to put lights in, which my friend Steve's going to help me with, which you saw Steve on the Series 3, uh, yeah, what happens when you find a Land Rover in a car episodes, uh, which is still going on. I'm just waiting for him to get his engine back and then we'll have another look. So he's about probably 60% of the way there with his restoration. He's got a new chassis. Anyway, enough of that. He's going to help me put the lights in. And what I'm planning to do today is empty the Land Rover. It's got various bits in it, old exhausts, the bonnets in there, stuff like that. And just see what I've actually got and what I need. Um, yeah, I've had some, some a lot of help on the forums on Facebook. Um, big thanks to everyone there. Um, I've also found out that the rear tailgate from this is actually off a, a very early Series 2 because it's got the three bolt um, brackets. So I'm going to need obviously a tailgate for this. Um, I also need the truck cab itself. And I don't know whether I can. It's a case of taking it apart and see what I've got, really, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, exciting times. So I'm going to start stripping this, um, emptying it, sorry, and, um, and then we'll have a look, see what we've got. Anyway, wish me luck. Okay, so before I start removing everything from the back of the Land Rover, I thought I'd just give you a better view now we're inside and there's less sun of what we've got. got some lovely patina paintwork. Uh, I've been discussing with various people online whether I leave this paint as it is or whether I make it a mint condition truck. And I know certainly at the moment the, the trend is more for the patina truck which suits me, saves me painting it. Um, also I need to lacquer it. So here's our two litre petrol engine. Um, it's mostly there, I mean there's a few bits missing as you can see. But you know I've got starter motor down there. What else have I got? Well, you know, bits of rust. Got a manifold, got a distributor. Got a carburetor there. Where is my uh, dynamo? Can't really get around the other side. Must be somewhere around there. Anyway, don't worry too much about that. Um, so this is what I'm working with. This is all obviously gonna be pulled out and completely rebuilt. Um, Cause as you can see, I've got spark plugs that are missing and snapped off. There's that one, I think it's snapped off in there. So it's going to need a complete strip down, that's fine. Um, working our way back. It's nice and light and airy. <laughs> it's not a lot between it. Um, bulkhead is here, which I'll take out and have a proper look at. Um, it doesn't look too bad from here. Um, I've got seat box. Uh, I've got a couple of different steering, I've got all the steering components here, but again it's a case of getting them out and seeing what's actually usable. Uh, I want everyone's thoughts on the chassis. I mean, in places it doesn't look too bad, you can't really see too well at the moment. But then you get up the front and it doesn't look so good. But you never know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to buying a brand new chassis, I know Richards do them. Um, I also know they're about £5,000, but it is galvanised and it is brand new. I mean, you know, it's... Um, and again, there's nothing stopping me like with Steve's old chassis, possibly stripping this and eventually getting round to repairing this and using it for another Land Rover. I can always buy the bits, you know what I mean? Heavy around the back. Sorry about the light, it's a bit too bright. Um, rear cross member, as we saw in the other videos, is, is dead. Um, yes, this is what's in the back. Lots of tyres, I put those in there to be fair. Uh, the old exhaust I think is off ser uh, Steve Series 3. There's a couple of doors there. So yeah, like I say, let's, uh, let's get this stripped and have a look. Okay, it's so a progress on clearing the back of the Land Rover. It's looking good. So we've got a bonnet there, a couple of doors as I said before. Um, I'm keeping, what am I keeping, let's have a look. I'm keeping part of a Series 3 exhaust pipe to go on my Series 3 because 
three quarters of mine fell off and I'm not really ready to do a full rest on that one yet so I just want to get it back on the road for that exhaust will help. Uh, I've got some front uh, springs which will go back on the other Series 3 chassis I've got. I've got the front ones but they're not parabolic and they've got a little bit, a bit far gone so they're going to be scrapped. Right, let's just have a quick go at these doors. Um, the white paint almost looks like emulsion. Then there's a layer of green, then you have the original blue. So I've just taken a scraper quickly just to see what's what really. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to remain a patina truck, I've got to be honest, because it just looks awesome. And that's like two minutes with a scraper. It almost looks like a map of England. Not shape wise, but colour. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to show you what it's like. That's my bonnet falling over, don't worry, worry about that. Yeah, so as far as paint restoration goes, I admit, I'm a little bit rough. But, you know, it looks cool, I can't complain. And then I'm just going to show the bulkhead. This is pretty much done, whoever did this, um, yeah, did quite a nice job. Um, it just needs sandblasting again, and then undercoating the top rail. As you can see, it needs a little bit of work. I'm pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get these doors done and then give this all a sweep out and we'll have a look in a bit. back cleared all the parts, got the doors, both front doors are there, lovely patina. Over here we've got the bulkhead which is in the back, which as I said earlier is pretty much ready to go. Um, various brake bits and bolts. Here's what's left of the top rail from the bulkhead, plus the vents, not a lot. Oh, I also found the, uh, the accelerator pedal, which is pretty seized. Horrible. And uh, Steve's arrived. Steve. With a drill. Steve's arrived with a drill. What we decided was let's get the top of this off. It's not bolted on, it is literally top riveted on. So we're gonna drill them out and then hopefully this side off, someone did start. Um, any of you guys on Facebook used to own this, want to admit to this? <laughs> but anyway, it's coming off, um, and a new trailer is going to be bought and put on. Yeah, so let's see what it looks like with it off. off this uh, this side of the roof hopefully then we're getting somewhere but it's really well put together so welcome back to day two um, so far today as you just saw we've cut all the way along this rail um, which turned out to be like rolled steel. I'll just grab that and show you. So whoever made the uh, the roof used some pretty serious steel and riveted it all together and, and this is a good 10 kilos, something like that. Um, so yeah, basically I've decided to remove the roof. Um, I'm going to remove the front bit, which I, I think is the original truck cab that's been modified. Um, just so we can see what we've got, it just makes it easier. I ended up in the end just angle grinding through as you saw, because um, it was just bolted everywhere. Yeah, whoever built this, built a serious roof, they weren't messing around. Um, but as you can see, it's now nice and loose. So uh, what I need to do now is I'm gonna remove the windscreen and go from there.
that's the roof off of the 109. Um, it was ridiculously well put on. It's taken all day. Um, but we're there and it's looking really cool. It looks great now. I'm really happy with it. Um, and the roof now makes a great tripod stand, which is uh, what this camera's sat on. Anyway, I'll bring you in for a closer look in a minute. Next thing I think is engine out, wings off, radiator, front panel off, engine out. And also I can send that away to be worked on. Um, you can just about see the roof there. So here's our roof. I'm going to keep the windscreen obviously because that's going to go back on. Um, but yeah, thoughts on, on whether this is a you know, special order Land Rover roof or not. I mean, this is, I think, the original truck cab section. Someone's then, obviously, possibly Land Rover, possibly a private person's added to. Yeah, there you go. One roof, one Land Rover 109. Okay, so that's it for video two of the Land Rover Series 1. I'm pretty pleased with the progress so far. Roof's off, which was, as I said, a bit of a pain, uh, but we got there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And um, to see you soon. Next stage, as I say, wings, engine. And um, yeah, as I said in the previous video, chassis, obviously we'll get to see it soon. And I want people's opinions. Um, I need lots of parts. Please do get in touch. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.